Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to play a game called Make 100 and we're going to practice two skills while we play. So first is going to be bridging to 10 and second is going to be adding nines. If you can master these two, you'll start to add numbers with a lot more ease and a lot more speed. Bridging to 10 is one of the first skills that I'd like you to practice. Um, and what you do is whenever you are approaching a 10 and you're going to go past it, you're going to split the number you're adding so that you add to the nearest 10 and then whatever's left over from there is very easily added on from that point. Let me give you an example. So firstly, let's say I have 17 and I want to add 5. So I need to think how many to the nearest 10, it is three more to 20. So by adding three, I get to 20. And then very simply, I see I have two left over, and I add those two to make 22. And this is much faster than counting on by ones um, or anything like that and you find yourself getting quicker and quicker. If you find that skill difficult, uh, you might need to go back and practice your pairs to 10. Knowing your pairs to 10 is very important for being able to bridge to the next 10 so that you know how many more you need to add to get to 10. So let's have a look at the pairs to 10. First you have 1 and 9 making 10, then 2 and 8 making 10, 3 and 7 make 10, 4 and 6 make 10, 5 and 5 make 10, and then you can create the other facts by um, reversing your previous ones. So 9 and 1 make 10, 8 and 2 make 10, 7 and 3 make 10, 6 and 4 make 10. So when you have these memorized, it's very easy for your brain to say, okay, 7, how many more make 10? 3 more make 10. Or 2, how many more to make 10? 8 more makes 10. So practice these if you're having trouble with bridging to 10. The next skill I want you to practice is for how to very easily add nines. So instead of nine being a number that you fear because it's large when adding, I want you to it to become one of your favorites because we all know that adding 10 is very easily. Um, so if you've got uh, 14 plus 10, you simply change the number in the tens column to two tens to make 24. If you've got 37 plus 10, then we change again just the number in the tens column to make 47. It's just as easy to add nines because all you need to do is add 10 but then take one back because we know that nine is one less than 10. So an example of that would be uh, 27 plus nine. So what I would do here, so I'd do 27 plus 10, which gives me 37. But then I need to count one back to make 36. So take one, so 27, plus nine is 36. Okay, so the game that we're going to play today is called Make 100, and we're going to use the 10-sided dice that you were given. Uh, if you don't have that 10-sided dice, you'll either need to um, use a dice generator online, or perhaps you could have a sibling or um, a parent call out a number between um, 1 and 10 for you to add each time. Um, then the journey is to add up as quickly as you can 
from zero all the way to exactly 100. So how that would work is I would roll and my first number is eight. So I'd put eight and then I would roll again. And my next is six, which makes 14. So I used that bridging to 10 strategy from before. I did two more makes 10 and then there's four left to make 14. Okay, I roll again, and this time I got a one, so plus one is 15. So I'm always having the answer directly underneath, and I make sure I write what I'm adding each time so that it can be checked at the end. When you actually go for it, it's going to be a race to do this as quickly as possible. So the more you can master that bridging to 10 and that adding nine strategy, the faster you're going to go. So in a second, I'm gonna have a go at this. I'm gonna time myself, uh, but you could choose to uh, play against a partner, like a sibling that's at home or mum or dad, um, or you can choose to time yourself like I am and compete to get your best time. So this is a really uh, good way of building your mental computation speed um, because next term we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction of larger numbers. Uh, to win the game you need to get exactly 100 so at some point you're going to get into the 90s and you will need to roll exactly 100 so sometimes you'll have to roll the dice multiple times. Let me show you how that's going to work. So this time I've got a 6 so that makes 96 so I need four more. Well, I got a two there, which is less than four, so I can still go. So now I'm on 98. So now I need that two again. Well, zero is worth 10 in this game. I did forget to explain that before, a zero is worth 10. And there's the two I need to make exactly 100. So I would yell stop at that point, or I would stop my time um, if I was playing. Okay, it's time to play. Let's have a bit of fun and see how quick we can get uh, 100. So I'm gonna time myself and we'll see how we go. Ready, set, and go. Ten, good start. Back too soon. And there it is. Okay, so 100, and I'm pretty much right on a minute there. So that's my time for today. Uh, feel free to upload your scores. I'd love to see what some of your times are and the challenges for anyone out there to try and beat a minute. So looking forward to hearing from you all.